Welcome to Garden Believers, my believers. I believe in your green thumb. So guess what? This week is Environmental Poultry Culture Week, which is awesome. So did you guys know that when you spend time in the yard, it releases stress? I am a um, previous military, um, Navy veteran, and um, I have PTSD. And this was a form of my stress release and it does release stress. It's a stress reliever. Um, I, it really stressed so much that my husband had to remind me that the moon is outside and it's dark. Um, I, it's, there's no time factor when I'm in the yard. I just enjoy the moment. Um, it also gives you vitamin D for people who are lacking vitamin D. And I just found out through my physical that I was lacking vitamin D. So they gave me a prescription I could take once a week. And I'm like, I'm in the sun all the time. Um, and then also, it's great exercise. I lost so much weight. I wish I had a before picture. I was 198 pounds, and now I'm 140 pounds. So it's a lot of, um, it's a great way to lose weight as well. So just enjoy, uh, find some of your beautiful flowers that you want to plant, enjoy. It's no perfect way of doing it. And just find a space to plant them in a season. Um, we actually in my patio and I have so much work to do in the backyard because I was doing so much work in the front and then between my other clients um, that I have created the eye candy yard. So check it out. I'm gonna let you guys see. Um, it is a hot mess back here, but it's okay. Um, let you guys. All right, so we are in, um, this is the patio. So I have, a, my son broke my water fountain. So I gotta get another one, but um, I have a couple of things here. This is my mother, Teresa Hydrangeas, uh, which I totally love. Look how beautiful they are and blooming very well. And this one is starting to, so I'm excited. Um, these I actually took from a client's house and put something else. Um, she didn't, uh, first time doing garden, she didn't know what to do. So these are really not supposed to be in the sun. So that's why they look like this. So I'm gonna clean them up, cut them up and put in my shade area, which you see over here and the grill gonna go somewhere else. And I'm gonna plant some, I mean, put some nicer stuff over here. Um, fix this seating area up and just make it look like a um, oasis comfortable thing. I have a set of fan up there. So we get hot, we in Georgia, zone eight. Um, those are bar stools I told you about. I have got to have not fixed those up yet, which I will. Um, I actually got these here from an antique shop. The lady gave it to me for free because she knows that I do gardening. And I'm going to put some cute little um, plants in here and drill a hole at the bottom so it can have drainage. And then also, um, I have one here that she gave me also. So, I have a hosta that my friend was killing. So, I put in this pot to, re to uh, revive it. And um, once it grow back healthy, I'm going to return it to her. But if you look down here in my balcony... I have a lot of work to do. I have pulled those cast irons up, but they are growing back. Um, and then down there. So it has a lot of work. I, I live like on a slope. Um, I cut a tree there because I want to get uh, something special. Uh, a water feature back here. And then as we walk, I have a hibiscus tree. Um, here's my lemon tree I have. You see the little bugs? Do you guys see them? So there's a lot of them. And look, <laughs> a ladybug. But yeah, so it has a lot of um, lemons that's coming. And there's a bee on there. So let me move. Um... Have some pots here by the door that's on the stand over here and then I actually bought this new outdoor um, sink that's gonna be here so I haven't set it up yet so it could be easy for me to pop my plants um, Academy actually had this on sale so it's gonna have the drainage here for my sink to run water and also my area that I could do what I need to do for my plants and stuff. 
and then here is another lemon tree and look at this what in the world is that whatever it is is messing with my plants so I need to get something to get that off get off but yeah so if that's this was not producing as much as the other one I don't see that many buds on here and I did um, fertilize it so I gotta figure out what's going on but there's one right here that's growing I see one and I see two um, and this I had this about this gonna be my second year having this so there's a couple coming you see them all right and this is um, I think my white tea rose um, they had a lot on here iceberg iceberg rose I'm sorry iceberg iceberg rose I have this one was funny because this one is actually was dying and dead I decided to repot it and see what it does and it's coming back to life look at it it had nothing but so I'm excited that it's coming back alive and uh, if you see my backyard over here This is row bush. I need to clean all this area up and then I don't have no shoes on. So, you know, we've been having foxes and crap running around here um, in my backyard. Try to make sure the fence stay closed because I am a city girl from California and I'm not used to Georgia. Even though I've been here for like, I think, eight or nine years. Um, last year I came across a snake here. So, but um, this is, I have that banana tree. Um, let you guys just have a little quick tour. Gotta clean this up. I haven't did anything here at all to the backyard. I haven't done anything. So, look at my hydrangea. That's the limelight in this pot and it's growing massive. Um, my fern down there and my hostas, my elephant plant. I need to water back here and I need to put my drip line really so yeah oh no look at my all right and then of course it's my Japanese navel but it needs a lot of work a lot of cleaning I need to do and it's a shame look I have freaking pots here from Christmas.